Hey guys, welcome to Lovely Twin 22. Vanessa here speaking, and today we have another pick a card reading, and this is the career reading commencing June 1 up to June 7, 2020. Each pass was arranged by Saint Gabriel and Saint Michael the Archangel. It's because it will be an intense week for both love and um career as well and divine feminines the angels say um right now you're gonna experience some harsh words betrayal and so forth it's because the angels say some of the masculines may say mean things to you behind closed doors i feel like um it could be resonating actually with the reading for today, June 1, since I filmed this based on Catholic readings. It's because it's being reminded of what happened in the past that, you know, um, they ate the forbidden food, food and what happened is that there's argument between the masculine and the feminine um, because of what happened. And the angels say that within this week, we can experience heartaches about masculines. But then the angels say for some, if you're single, you don't have any trouble with that. <laughs> or you work at home, expect some people that are harsh to you if you are a youtuber people might comment negatively so make sure that you know how to handle the bullies the angels say it's better not to mind um, those people just mind your own business so you won't get affected the angels say and the angels told me that Within this week, um, it will be a nice week for creativity, for crafts, and for pick a card readings. I feel it's not gonna be worth the effort. It's because of the pastures. So within this week, um, do whatever you're being called on to do by God. Um, if you're an angelic worker like me, if ever the angels ask you to do something, do it, okay? Even though we know that within this week is not a perfect time to put out a pick a card reading, at least on our part, we did our mission work. Okay, so is there anything else? He said that's it. So, anyway, guys, we got four pals here. Number one is the Queen of Swords. Number two, Queen of Cups. Number three, Queen of Pentacles. And number four, the Queen of Wands. Choose wisely. Don't base it on your ego or else it may not resonate. Don't base it on the zodiac signs, please, okay? So, let the cards call on to you, but if no cards is calling in, it might not resonate, okay? So, don't force yourself, guys. It's just normal that sometimes no pile is calling on to us. Um, is there anything else, angels? The angels say expect bashers if you have a channel or if you're a public figure. The angels say, um, the divine is putting you to test and put to practice how to please everyone, okay? Um, not to be addicted to the likes, to the subscriptions, etc. Um, just make sure that you, if you are a public figure, you know how to calm yourself. It is a test, the angels say. So please be prepared for it, divine feminines. And also some masculines, alright? So, is there anything else? They said that's it. So, anyway, just post the video, guys, if you're not yet ready. And I'll proceed now with number one. Hi, guys. For those who chose number one, which is the Queen of Swords, the Independence card, here is your reading. So, we'll see what's going on with your career number one commencing in june 1 to june 7 2020 now this is the overall theme of this reading you got unfinished symphony and i feel like you want to turn it upright or reverse building blocks milk and honey and then i feel like you want a wish fulfillment 
but I feel like your connection with someone is over. I feel like you're being affected by love life, number one. But we'll see with your dicks it cards what it has to say. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with the career of those who chose number one. I feel like someone want to apologize to you number one because of what happened in your connection i feel like it's more on partnership with regards to love life i feel like that is what you're focused on rather than work itself probably because um i feel like right now you don't have work that's why you're too focused with love life and career comes second in your life but we'll check with your tarot what it has to say angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on in the career of those who chose number one commencing june 1 up to june 7 2020 so the angels say that you feel dry um, tired and regretful about what happened I feel like there's betrayal that happened could be your person choose someone else or you could be married with this person but then suddenly they don't want to be with you um, just take what resonates number one I feel like it's hard for you to let go especially if this is the provider um, Anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what is the outcome? Feel like you're regretful of the past. Offer a heartache. I feel like you think that you should choose another person than this karmic partner that you have. But we'll clarify. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Pardon guys that it's looking like a love reading, but probably the angels want to share about what's going on actually. But they will say some hints with regards to your career. I feel like travel is what on your mind with, with regards to career after breakup. And you don't want to go back to the place where... You belong, the angels say. Probably you don't want to be at home or you want to live somewhere else away from your partner. That's what I'm seeing. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. For some of you, you could be homeless, you lost a home or you lost a job, the angels say. You lost something. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what I get here is that you're waiting um, for the time wherein you really want somebody by your side. I feel like you're very codependent over money as well. That's what I'm sensing. I feel like you're. I feel like you're telling yourself that you will be abundant, but you want somebody by your side. And I feel like with the spring being here, I feel like justice is not on your side. Probably you mistakenly choose someone else or I feel like it's karma that happened to you. I feel like you thought that um, the grass is green on the other side. That's why you left your past person. And I feel like justice has been served on the side of the one that you left that's why karma happened and i feel like you broke up with someone or you lose a job and now you're looking for someone else or you're looking for a new opportunity out there i feel like you're outdated um i'm sensing i don't know why outdated probably with regards to career you're outdated and you need some I feel like you need some time to work on your talent or your skill. You need to work about it. That's what I'm sensing. And with the Eight of Swords being here, I feel like you're stuck because I feel like you don't know anymore how to work or you have a certain talent or a skill that you have 
you let go years ago could be because I feel like you lose your feel like you got hurt at work or something happened there's a downfall there and you're trapped by your fear and just think that it may take some effort or you need to study to get um to, to, to get the career that you want i can hardly speak i feel like um if it's about communication you don't know how to use communication or proper phrases the angels say or sentences in your career now with the two worlds being in reverse i have a feeling that you still want your old partner i feel like you still love your partner you're holding on tightly to it but i feel like your partner decided to move on from you that's what i'm sensing now with the oriel and the sphinx i feel like you're you're losing your patience over your love love life money as well i feel like money and love is your problem right now you're not happy with your life you're emotionally unfulfilled you're you're dealing with your emotions and that's why you became closer to god i feel like you have been praying within this week um to shift things about yourself because with the king of keys in reverse i feel like you want to stand in your power but i feel like the heaven is telling you it takes a leap of faith um like uh, you should i feel like you need to fix your life first before love life and i feel like the heaven is telling you don't do the wrong thing again like they're stopping you from um focusing on love life first rather than your career because i feel like you need to be patient with yourself you need some time to heal your heart and by this time you need to practice your skill so that you can have abundance again so you can have the good job again i feel like you have that good job with regards to career before but then something happened okay there that you need to let go of this career of yours and until now you have that trauma so i feel like with regards to career you have to heal or tame the beast within you the angels say your fear your ego that's what they want to say so you can face the fact that you need to fix your life you need to get your finances together first before love life and you need to break free from the old patterns that you have been doing like this one before like you're escaping um what is important in your life so i feel like you really love to travel could be probably you have been spending money for traveling that's why you're you wasn't able to save money so this is the outcome path unknown so what i'm I'm sorry, I'm feeling here is that you are wanting to go back to the partner that gave you abundance. That's what I'm sensing here. You're trying to manifest this person back because she or he is a very balanced person and you're the sneaky here. And I feel like you want to go to your, um, I feel like ex now, um, to ask for a plan or to make amends. I feel like you really want to go back because I feel like this person is living in the present moment and knows where to go in the future. Um, I feel like you want to be guided or you want to be still in a relationship with this person. I feel like you don't want to let go. You want this person so badly because I feel like this person knows how to balance you out. I feel like they are good at planning that's why you want them back now we'll see with your charms what it has to say one more detail so one more detail so anyway these are your charms so what i feel here okay is that you still remember whomever the person that you left in the past i feel like you love this person and i feel like the heaven is directing you onto your 
Whomever this is, I feel. Because this person has the plan. This person knows what to do in their life. So I feel like you're going in circles and you really need a guide. And I feel like that's why you want to go back to your ex. Because they are logical and they are practical. And I feel like they are nurturer. That's why you like them. That's why you feel mad at yourself. Because you chose the wrong person. And I feel like whomever you hurt is a loyal person. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like you realize now that whom you chose to have is not really the one for you. And I feel like whomever... Um, this person is that you left is I feel like he or she is the emperor or empress like um, they have everything together and they know how to balance you out so I feel like if you felt thrown to this person that you left I feel like the heaven is directing you onto that person because I feel like in your career um, you're not really achieving anything. Like you need help from somebody to help you. That's what I'm sensing. Could be you played with your ex heart before. And I feel like um, you thought that the grass was greener on the other side and you dealt with the karmic. That's what I'm sensing here. And I feel like you still look at your ex, whomever this is that you left, because they are abundant right now. And you don't have anything because you lost your job, I feel. And you need um, some time to enhance your communication skill or a certain thing that you need to... You need to study, that's what I'm sensing. And I feel like whomever you left in the past is a lucky cat. Or if they are in your life, you're very lucky, that's what I'm sensing. But I feel like you're trying to make a plan on how to go back to this person. But the heaven is telling you, try to make plans, okay? On your own, you don't need to depend on your past person. The angels say, because I feel like before you didn't see this person's worth. And now that you are left in the cold by your karmic, I feel like that is when you see the importance of your past person. And I feel like before you doubt them, that's why you broke their heart. And I feel like you want to send this person a message or you want to call them. I feel like you're still passionate with this person. Um, could be you have a high sex drive, that's why you chose someone, or you have been a player, and you have been trying to enjoy life, overindulge, um, to the point that you, you mess up with your life, could be, or your life is not in order, because of your mistakes, and I feel like you feel very regretful about it, okay? So anyway, here are your Dixit cards. So I feel like you dealt with a karmic who left to you for someone else could be. And I feel like um, I feel like you decide to walk away or the connection is over. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like um, you want to be comforted right now. That's why you want to go back to your past person. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like you're aware that in terms of your career, you need to put a work on it or you need to study how to do it again. And I feel like you really need some help right now because you feel like your world turned upside down with regards to career and money as well. The angels say also love life. I feel like though you're emotional, you still strive to move things forward. And for some of you, you just got an argument with somebody. That's why, you know, um, I feel like it's more on connection or relationship. That somebody is mad at you or you just had an argument. And I feel like with regards to your career, I feel like it's in a stagnant energy. And right now, you are in deep contemplation. I feel like you're facing... Your fears or you're facing the truth of the matter here why your life is not in order I feel like the heaven is calling in for you to contemplate about your life so we'll see with your overall theme number one 
So you have happy happy. So probably this is what you did before. Like um you are someone who loves to party. That's what I'm sensing. That's why you wasn't able to save money. And I feel like you strive for love life first before the money because I think that for you love life is your happiness and joy. I feel like you offer indulge yourself as well. And I feel like because of what happened, I feel like it's teaching you how to save money. That's what I'm sensing. And the heaven is asking you to learn from you. Um, from your past mistakes and hurt. I can hardly speak to be honest in your pile. I feel like your communication skill was cut off by the divine because they don't want you to chase after love again um, right now because it's not the perfect time. You need to contemplate on how to fix your life. That's what I'm sensing here. And they want you to learn from your mistakes as well. To face your inner shadows, inner fear, and so forth. So, I feel like in terms of partnership, you just got away from a connection. That's why right now you're single. And I feel like during this time, you're being called on to be independent. That's why it has to happen. That's what I'm sensing here. Or some of you receive in something blunt, okay? From somebody so we'll see with your advice what it has to say so you got align your life what is not aligned or needs to change so this is what they tell you that you need to release the old patterns because if you keep on making the same mistake you will end it up again in this way the angels say and then the next is the age of light you've been training for this for lifetime so i feel like it has been happening round and round in your life number one and since it has been happening there needs changes i feel like that's what you need to contemplate on why you encounter again another heartache another you know i'm losing your job or and so forth so right now you don't need to rush your love you don't need to rush i'm um, looking for a career right away because the heaven is asking you to contemplate so you will be on alignment the angels say mintaka longing for home belonging the original light workers so could be some of you are focused too much on love life because you feel very nostalgic i feel like for you um you need a partner so you can move towards life i feel like for you guys having a partner really makes you happy but sadly i feel like you must be independent this time I feel like it has to happen that you won't have any partner right now because you need to be independent. You need to be on your own. Next is deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held. So right now you need to rest. Right now you need to cry out all the pain and heartache in your heart. And the angels say make sure that you cleanse yourself with salt and water so negativity um, may not um, overwhelm you and i have a feeling here that you don't have to be harsh to yourself that you need to right away find a job i feel like learn how to meditate and it will help you in your healing process and knowing which path to choose because i feel like with the moon here i feel like your intuition is trying to tell you on what to do trying to calm you down um that's what i'm sensing next is play have fun celebrate don't be serious probably this is your life before like you're always playing around you're always life at the party you're always um hanging out at the bar i feel like this needs to this needs to be over this is what you need to realize um, I feel like you need to let go of your addictions to be successful, number one. And then sisterhood of the rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, and teacher. I feel like the heaven is directing you on to your ex, whom is the one that you left, or whomever is the priestess here or a teacher. That's what I'm sensing. I feel like you're longing for that person because you're aware that he or she is connected with the divine and this person knows exactly 
um, which is your past. So I feel like you really want to go back to that person. But in some cases, that's why you have this card. Probably they're still upset with what you did. So if ever that's the case, try to come. I feel like um, don't rush in. Uh, make sure that you see the signs first before you come back because I feel like some of them are mad at you still. So the next is play this. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Double mission channeling and uplifting humanity. So I feel like you guys are light workers. Okay, and I feel like you haven't tapped in to God or to spirituality and I feel like within this week you're gonna be closer to God because you have been through a lot and you don't know where to turn to since I feel like you're left out in the cold and even this person that you think will help you um, is not in the mood to help that is for some next is Dance with life, do something to change your energy. So if the feelings overwhelm you, do something that makes you happy, like creative stuff or play online games can be. And then the next is boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? So I feel like um, based on your reading, you need to let go of certain addictions. Some of you could it could be addictions or that um, play attitude. That's what you need to set yourself away from. And I feel like you need to have um, control, self-control, the angels say. So you won't encounter the same problem again. And then trust an eagle. What is niggling feeling trying to tell you? So I feel like you have a calling to do this certain job that you thought of. Um, needing some some studies is what I'm sensing and I feel like you're aware about it that's what I'm sensing and follow the eagle um, it, because um, to be honest God um, can communicate to us through our hearts so if ever um, you have niggling effect it means that God is trying to talk to you listen to it take some time to meditate or rest the angels say so it may come naturally since you will be i'm sorry since you will be closer to god within this week okay you will be closer to the divine that's why you have niggling effect in your heart so next anna grandmother of jesus sit in the light laying foundations divine plan i feel like um you will be connected to God within this week if you chose to be closer to God, I feel. And then the next is pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. So I have a feeling that you are really meant to be independent or be away from the world because you are rising up from the ashes. And I feel like you're learning more about yourself. And since you're closer to God, I feel like you are awakened, awakening to become your ultimate self or knowing your true colors what you can do and i feel like you really want to change your life because i feel like you're tired of your old patterns you're tired of getting hurt again i feel for some for some of you you really want to change your life in general next answer the call what is your soul calling you calling you to do so i feel like for some of you you're being called on to do something so i feel like you really need to trust that nigel okay but if you're not really comfortable about that skill or what they ask of you try to practice the angel say practice makes perfect it, it's not necessarily that you need to go to a class the angels say and the angels say take baby steps because I feel like within this week, you don't have to rush it because you have, um, immerse, I'm sorry, um, immerse of emotions or you're still depressed from a heartache, from losing your job and so forth. So right now is not really a perfect time for you to rush in to 
to have online classes and so forth. So do the basic steps, baby steps on how to achieve or how to manage your skills or enhance your talents. So this is the next card you got trust your path. If you knew you will be supported, what would you do? So the angels say you're supported. You're not alone in this journey. Even though you feel this way physically, you're guided by God, as the angels say. Because some of you, you got used to be very dependent over someone or you're someone that got used to be in a partnership. That's why it's brand new for you to experience to be single. Next card, Nine of Raphael. Make a wish, dreams coming. I'm sorry, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. So I feel like you're wishing really, um, feel like you really want emotionally fulfillment or be emotionally fulfilled and you want a loyal partner by your side you're very dependent but the angels say that right now you're being called on to be independent to be on your own to find yourself so the angels say if ever you still have this codependency issues make sure that you get rid of it okay get rid of the old patterns the angels say so the next is the King of Ariel, successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. So I feel like this is your wishes. The angels say that you want to come through in your, I feel like in your field or in your 3D realm. Your plans are working out very well, professional and financial success using resources wisely. So if ever you are a waster of money before, I feel like you need to learn your lesson that you shouldn't overindulge yourself, the angels say. So you will have financial success. That's why it says you're using resources wisely. So learn from your mistakes, the angels say. And for some of you, I feel like you want to go back to this person, okay? That's what I'm sensing. But if ever your person was still mad at you, um, the angels say, well, your horse is, the angels say. And determination and self-control. So I feel like you're being required on to have self-control about your addictions, the angels say. You need to fight your addictions you need to control yourself that's what you need to do so you will be successful in terms of your career you may have advancement and i feel here that you could be someone who feel like you're attached with your past person i don't know why number one but it's not a perfect time for you to approach if they are really mad at you just learn how to listen to god and the angels as well for some and i feel like you will be divinely guided because i feel like right now you don't need to rush in i feel like you're in this journey of finding yourself finding your true color because i feel like you got used to parting the angels say or wasting your money so much so Steep contemplation week for you. So is there anything else? They said release your ego of wanting love right away because it's not gonna work out. Because I really felt drawn to this. Like you still want a loyal partner by your side. Because right now you need to be alone. I feel. So you don't need to force love. Is there anything else? They said what's important is you are awakening. So don't disrupt your awakening process because if you are into dating again, I feel like it will be disrupted your progress here in your um, 5D realm. In healing yourself and trying to see which way to go, etc. So is there anything else? Trust a divine through this process of healing. Um, within this week is not yet a time for you to achieve your goals and your dreams or find a lover. Just take some time to rest, the angels say. So is there anything else? 
they said that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose number one and send you all peace love and light bye Hey guys, for those who chose number 2, which is the Queen of Cups, Sensitivity, here is your reading. So, we'll see what's going on with your career number 2. So, we reach the overall theme of this reading. You got co-create, voiced, time to go, regeneration, to be fair and also to the sea. Now we'll check your Dixit cards number three. I'm sorry, number two. <laughs> sorry, I got it wrong. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know about the career of number two commencing June 1 up to June 7, 2020. One more, they tell. So, we'll see. The angels say to me that, um, I feel like you keep on apologizing for, I feel like certain issues, but you're not changing at all. Um, I feel like they say that you have to avoid making the same mistakes rather than repeating it and then saying sorry again. Um, that's what I'm sensing because I feel like some people are annoyed by your actions. Um, that's what I'm sensing and it, it repeats all the time, the angels say. But we'll check with your tarot. I feel like the sensitive here are the people that surround you with, like they are upset whenever you do your mistakes, that's what I'm sensing. And I feel like they're waiting for you to change that, but I feel like it keeps on happening. I feel like for some of you, you could be clumsy or you're not that focused at work, that's what I'm sensing. No wonder why I got confused with 2 and 3. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on in the career of number 2 commencing June 1 up to June 7, 2020. I have a feeling here that you don't trust anyone. Like, um, you don't like people to... to get closer to you. If ever they get closer to you, I feel like you get mean or um, you will do something nasty so they will not want you or feel like you love to bully them for some of them. So, up in the air is here. So, what is the outcome? I feel like you need to break. I feel ancestral patterns. I feel like um, in your family could be um, you love to bully or I love to pretend to be rich even though you're not. That's also what I get here. So anyway, don't get offended because that's how I feel guys, okay? So I'm just saying what I see. But we will clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance. For the cards, so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. I feel like your true colors are getting known by some people. I feel like you try to distance yourself because you don't want people to know about you. That's what I'm sensing. Or you're hiding something or you're hiding the fact you're, um, that you're not that rich or... I feel like you're hiding something negative about you. And you're getting stressed out because I feel like some people are starting to realize about your true identity of who you truly are. And I feel like they are trying to tell you um, about it, but I feel like it, you're not, um, I feel like you reject them. Or you don't want to talk about your identity. I feel like there's identity crisis here. So, make sure that you're being authentic, number two. 
So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what I'm feeling here is that you're somebody could be you're pretending that you're single but you're not for some of you because you will you know you will date somewhere else don't know what why it became a love reading here and i feel like people start to see your true colors that you're you're currently in a relationship or if it's not the case i have a feeling that you play pretend that this is you like you're successful you're happy with somebody else feel like you have someone but then you always fight you always argue like it's unhealthy relationship and you play pretend that everything is okay so i feel like for some of you you put the facade that's not real okay to make it short and then the next card is the chess game in reverse and i feel like people are starting to see your true colors your true nature and you're getting stressed about it the angels say and i feel like people are always waiting for gossips about you that's what i sense here because i feel like they find you very interesting as a topic they think that your life is very dramatic um that's what i can say so clearing the way in reverse i'm feeling here that hmm i feel like um, they will see that you're not really happy with your life. You're not really what to show here. Okay, and people will fight or will argue of what you portray to the world that is not true. I feel like people will finally see your true colors. That's what I'm sensing and it has to happen. And clearing the way, I feel like, yeah, they clear the way. They already know the truth about you whatever it is that you hide they know and i feel like your ship is burning and i feel here with the queen of pentacles could be third party situation could be the other one is your wife or husband and then the other is another party um but i have a feeling here that if ever it's a third party situation you try your best to hide so that the other person will not leave you that's what i'm sensing but i feel like you won't be successful because the other one will sleep okay or will not be wanting you because i feel like you don't really like the partner that you currently have i feel like with the lookout it's more on a fire okay you're you're with this fiery energy that's a very controlling and the other is a nurturing person and you don't want um, any of them to let you go. That's why you create a facade that you're single so that the other may stay. If that's the case situation. I don't know why they include love life in your career life. So with the light work, I'm sorry, light of the world reverse. I feel like people are seeing your true colors. They're waking up because you show to your to the world that you're the six of ones and they know the truth that you're not. You don't have really money, you don't have abundance. And if ever they see you as a wise teacher, no, they they don't see you anymore like that. You they see you as someone that is holding on to a facade. That's what I'm sensing. I feel like a gossip is on you or just feel like they don't just trust you and some are mad because you portray this to the world um which is not really true about you so next is archangel michael so if it's love situation i feel like the other will discover it okay will discover the truth that you have someone else and i feel like you try to persuade them to to stay but then they will not stay they they're walking away carrying the stick so i feel like they will heal from this connection so this is the outcome caught in the ruins so if it's a marriage thing that you try to hide i feel like people will be aware that's why you know um with the two of swords being in reverse they're not somebody that's closed or blinded they, they know the truth the truth come forth during this week 
And then the next outcome is Path Unknown. So I feel like for some of you, you will be stagnant in terms of your career. Because I feel here, hmm, I feel like there's a third party here. That you always want to have two people around. Or what I'm feeling here is that you portray to the world that you're rich when all honesty is that you don't have money. And I feel like you will continue on trying to fix your money and trying to portray to the world that you're, you have it all together. So the next is treasure. I'm sensing here that the people will see that you're really poor. That's what I'm sensing. Judgment reverse. So I feel like the thing that you don't want to be judged about you will be seen. Um, they will see you for who you are. The angels say. And Archangel Raphael, I feel like whomever is a perfect person here in a third party will leave you. Okay, and it will broke your heart. And the wishes fulfilled. Yeah, the one that who makes you happy will be gone in your life. That's what I'm seeing. So, the other one whom you don't really like will stay. But the other one that you like will leave you. So, this is your charm. I feel like you love to play mind games on people, but I feel like people start to see um, that they shouldn't trust you. That's what I'm sensing. So, one more. Alright, so these are... So, they want to give more. So, anyway. This is it. So, I feel like um, you, you're kind of toxic to others. Like... Um, you have this quality in you that is very deceitful, like you portray on something that you're not. And for some of it, it could be about love connection. Like you love to date two people at once, but the light will... I feel like the light will attack you, the angels say. Like people will suddenly know your true colors or what you've been up to. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like you will lose somebody that is really your empress or emperor. And I have a feeling that you make people be blinded of to the truth about you. But then they will realize now of who you truly are. And I think that it has to happen. Because you need to be mature. You don't have to keep your negative attitude, the angels say. So I feel like you're gonna cry within this week because the one that you really love will let you go or put the rest. The connection. And I feel like this person is the one that you really love because, you know, um, they are balanced of you or the chemistry is great, you want to be with them, but then unfortunately, you know, there's a downfall in the connection. And for some of you, okay, you portray to the world that you're, you're rich, but suddenly they realize that you're not really rich. So we'll see with the Dixit cards what it has to say. So you got to this one. So I feel like people or even your friends start to see the light of who you really are within. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like they are ignoring you because of, you know, they're seeing your true colors. And I feel like in your ancestor, as I told you before, um, in your system, family, I feel like you try to portray to be rich even though you're not really rich That's what I'm sensing here. And I feel like people really look up at you because they thought that you are. But then they start to wake up that you're somebody that's just plain pretend to be rich. And I feel like you will have your downfall. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like um, because of what happened, you will go separate ways from... These people who finally know your true colors. And I feel like you will learn your lessons. That's why you will start to build your life. To make it, you know, in a 3D realm. Or to be... To make it look like it's really the truth. 
That's what I'm seeing here. That your reach. Now, anyway, we'll check with your theme. So, you got co-create here. So, I have a feeling that for some of you, you could love to co-create with people that are what you portray of. That's why you pretend to be rich. But then, I feel like they realize now your true colors. That's why you're left alone. I feel like for some of you, you might be single. That can be. And regeneration to be fair. I feel like it has to happen that this person or these people need to know your true colors. So, you may grow your own tree. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like you leave these people because... Um, they now know the truth about you. And boys, I feel this is what you portray to the world. But you're not really that. And I feel like with the Queen of Cups sensitivity, I feel like it's more on them or the people around you who will discover your true nature. Will be the one who will be the sensitive one. Like they will suddenly have this... Um, intuitive knowing that you're just a fake that's what i'm sensing whatever you post is i feel like they don't believe that anymore because they have hunches that it's not real um we'll see let's see with your advice what it has to say star mother how can you mother yourself so i feel like right now of course since people will will not be on your side it will be a sensitive you know time for you too and right now you need to matter yourself i feel because you don't have anyone now and the ever unfolding rose crack open it's happening for you not to you so i feel like what you truly are will glow like people will suddenly know that's what's going on with you now, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So, if you really want to portray what you're portraying, the angels say, then do it, okay? Um, if you want to be rich, then work on it, the angels say. Next, birthing a new age. Birthing new creation, streaming a new world into being. So, I feel like... Um, you can manifest abundance, you can uh, uh, manifest whatever you want, but the angels say, I feel like you're entering a new direction or you're trying to walk away from people that's closer to you. That's what I'm sensing here. Because I feel like they know your true nature now. That's why there will be a birthing of new age since you will walk away from those people so family call in your tribe you don't have to do it alone so if ever you know um i feel like those friends that you encounter um some of them could be like you are but the angels say you can encounter only your soul family if you are being authentic to yourself you will not know your tribe if you are not being authentic the angels say Nurture your true self, the angels say. Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So, if ever it's a generational curse that um, you're, your family is just portraying for whom you're not, I feel like you need to release those kind of pattern to break free. Next, inner temple, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. So I feel like you will have a heart awakening because you will feel very sensitive since people are, you know, um, not into you or not interested about you. That's what I'm seeing. Like, um, they're just interested with gossips, but that basically, you know, um, about you or they care for you. Mirror who or what is triggering you. So, they want to question why don't you want people to see your true colors or your true self? They say, what is triggering you? So, that's what you th need to think about. Why are you hiding the truth to the world? And then the next is star seed, what lights you up? 
So I have a feeling that right now since it's kind of very emotional that you will be left out. And I feel like if ever the feelings overwhelm you, try to make yourself happy by focusing on the things that lights you up. Next, Lemuria, creating heaven on earth, it's happening. So if you really portray to the world that your someone is abundant, then put it in a 3D realm, the angels say, by working hard on it. Here is the other card, Nine of Gabriel. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental and, um, I'm sorry, activism. So I have a feeling that you could be portraying that you're rich, you're happy, you're abundant. But I feel like the show is over, the angels say. And it's now time for you to wake up, come to your senses to avoid doing or trying to portray that you're rich. I feel like you need to, to learn how to plant your own seeds or plant your own wealth, the angels say. So it may grow. If you really want to be successful, then you have to work on it. And you don't have to play pretend that you're rich. Because, you know, if you really want to, to have true friends, you have to be authentic. The angels say, you will not have um, a true friends if you're not authentic. Because... They are loving your fake self. So better guys, um, start working on with yourself. That's why this is here. Love yourself. Okay, love who you are. Because if you don't love who you are, you will continue on doing these things. You will continue on being deceitful. And don't wait for a time wherein people will not really trust you. Because... You know, on the first um, impression, it's fake. How can they believe you now if you see, I'm sorry, you show something that's very different. So, is there anything else said? What's important is you'll be aware um, is that nobody really wants your... They want your authentic truth. They don't want your fakeness, the angels say. People will still love you and care if you show your true self. But, un but unfortunately, of course, some people may leave you. But then, um, that's the way it is. It's better to be with people that accept you for who you truly are rather than people who just love you because of what you portray that you're not. Because you're gonna be living in fake world forever if you cannot keep those people or you created a fantasy that's not even exist so is there anything else practice being authentic number two and you will see the difference the angels say um is there anything else they said that's it. So anyway, thank you for watching those who chose number two and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hi guys, for those who chose number three, which is the Queen of Pentacles, the Comfort card, here is your reading. So we'll see what's going on with your career number three. So I have a feeling that people look up highly on you. On social media, social gatherings, I just feel like your popularity is increasing because of your manifestation. I feel like you're overworked for some of you and you're very tired as well. So here is the overall theme. We got chop wood, chaos and conflict, thinker, a leg up, why? Imagine, I feel like for some of you, you could be a teacher or a light worker that's on social media or you're a public figure and people really look high. Um, I feel like they felt drawn to your energy because it's healing and they think that, feel like you're good with your words. That's all I can say, wow. Great energy number three, but we'll see with your Dixit cards. 
Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with the career of number 3 commencing June 1 up to June 7, 2020. One more detail. So, we'll check. The angels say to you that your soul drive is awakening up because of you. I feel like they have dreams about you and they are truly inspired by your light, by your glow. And I feel like they they always smile whenever they remember you or they remember your works or the words that you express. One more they say. I feel like you put a mark on the whole world. Um feel like you change humanity by your words that's also what i get or if ever by not words could be by art um just take what resonates number three so we'll see angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with the career of number three commencing june one up to June 7, 2020. One more detail. So we'll see. One more they say to me. So we'll check. I wonder what's wrong. <laughs> they keep on asking me to shuffle the cards. Probably your reading is very intense. Another one, they tell. So we'll check. One more. Okay, another shuffle, they tell. I don't know why they keep on asking me to shuffle your cards. Pardon if this takes so long. In. Um, I'm following my guides. I feel like for some of you, you have to release your ego of wanting your past person back. So this is the overall theme of this reading. So what is the out overall energy? Sorry, what is the outcome? So we'll check. We will clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. I feel like some people underestimated you. I feel like you could be somebody that people look lowly onto in the past and then suddenly you bloom. Um... And I feel like they have this discomfort of seeing you reaching your dreams. But then half of them are happy for you. But then some of them are kind of egotistical or low-key that wants you to see you in a low phase. They don't want to see you glow. But then I feel like you don't care whatever people will say. Because you got used to that. Okay, and I feel like it doesn't affect you anymore. You learn your lessons that, you know, um, people's um, perspective doesn't really pull you down. Now, before it can, but now you learn. I feel like they learn it the hard way that <laughs> you're glowing. You're not like what you are before. I feel like people don't feel attracted to you before. Probably they broke your confidence, but now you're like Archangel Gabriel. You're rising. You're becoming a preacher or teacher or an angelic being. It's what people see you now. You're, you changed. So I feel like some people, as I told you, are upset of your glow. Like you're, you're now standing in your power and they feel like... You know, um, they are on the same level as you are now. I feel like if people are into social status, you know, um, they see you as somewhat like that. 
even in, in a sense is that you accelerated in spirituality but not really in 3d realm but i feel like they think that they're you're on the same level as they are and they feel very upset with it okay and i feel like some people are still happy about your progress and you're happy of you know letting your self-defeated self go away feel like it's not you anymore you're um somebody whom is a light worker or you stand in your power could be you become rich all of a sudden and they feel very shocked about it so yeah you let go of your old self and i feel like for some of them can't believe their eyes about how how they can't manipulate you now because i feel like you dealt with people that are manipulators but i feel like you don't let them you know control you now okay you release yourself from the manipulation here you don't feel defeated anymore because i feel like you realize that these people are fooling you around trying to control you say that you're not good enough and so forth but i feel like they you're at peace okay i feel like you now know yourself that's why you know these people can't destroy you anymore or can't even destroy your name because i feel like you don't care at all um of what people will say or i feel like you've been through a lot really like um these people that are not your soul tribe those people that bring you down feel like you learn your lesson you're not a people pleaser you're someone who rather love yourself rather than please others that doesn't deserve it like you're a complete transformed being with a death in reverse wow i love your transformation number three and people are really overwhelmed about it and i feel like you find already your missing cup you know yourself already um that's why if ever example they gonna say that you're not really a good communicator i feel like you don't mind because you know to yourself your ability and they're lying and real wisdom and mind reverse so i have a feeling that those people that are upset of you to be honest they are just emperor reverse like they could be portraying something that they are not really and i feel like they're not spiritual that's why you know they love to bring people down at their level so don't get affected by these people probably they are bashers that are you know i'm um, very intrigued by your presence or not wanting to be greater or not wanting to be like who they are i feel like they want you to continue on being a poor person or somebody that's not really known and i feel like it's okay with you like you're somebody who's closed off to them because i feel like you remember how you have been hurt in the past so i feel like they are the one whom disrupt you from from knowing who you are and the gifts from the divine because i feel here that because people drain your energy people say that you are not the king of pentacles upright i feel like that dim your your light really but i feel like you learn your lessons you learn to create healthy boundaries or not to listen at all to negative um words of others and on track river so i feel like um those people who betray you or to who hurt you i can't hardly speak probably this is what's happening to them that they will lose their voice whatever they're manifesting will not push forward that's what i'm gonna say like their manifestation abilities will not be there because you know they hold they hold you back from growing use of the ego river so i feel like you release yourself from these people that are not really your soul tribe you took that leap of faith and people that are not really on your tribe really can see you walking away from them and not minding whatever they say you're minding your own business so we'll check your outcome i feel like with this um arc of the covenant those people that are not your soul tribe 
They will try to come back to you. I feel like they are bullies. They will try to bully you. Could be they want to bully your channel or your works. Or manipulate you because you're a good person. I feel like they want to steal your ideas or they want to bring you down. That's what I'm gonna say. But I feel like you really need to release them in your life because they're really unhealthy for you. So the next outcome is the karmic trench. So I feel like you need to release yourself from the karmic trench from people that are really unhealthy for you so that you may go to calmer waters or if ever they attack you in social media, don't mind them. Just mind your own business or block them. Now we'll check with your charms number three what it has to say. Some of them are a group of manipulators, bunch of haters. Some of them could be your family members, I feel. So I have a feeling that these people remember who you are in the past. And I feel like they can't stop thinking what happened to you, how did you grow, and so forth. But I feel like you need to put to rest these people because they are just bugging your... Um, they're just disruption in your life because you're standing in your power now. They can't believe their eyes that you're like a queen or a king. Like you're doing very well and these people are your karmic. They're very toxic in your life. They want your downfall. I feel like before they managed to manipulate you but as time passes by you became mature and you know to yourself that these people blinded you. Okay, that's why you didn't see yourself. You didn't see your true nature. And I feel like you learn how to love yourself. That's what I'm sensing. And not ever you manifest will grow. And the angels say, continue manifesting and write your plans in a notebook. They tell. And also keep your plans to yourself. Because if ever you are surrounded by these negative people, especially family members that are not really into your success, they will disrupt you. So make sure that you're not really bragging about your plans, number three, or else they will get, what do you call this? They will try to disrupt your peace or destroy your plans. So anyway, here is your exit card. So I feel like these people are, you know, the blockage of you achieving your goals and your dreams and the start for the future. I feel like you're somebody that has a lot of things going on right now. And I feel like the universe is alongside with you. And you manage to break through those chains. I feel like whomever really envies you or control you is someone that also does that to others, not only to you. And they break people's hearts. They break people's, you know, motivation or courage. And they will receive karma right now. Like, um, whatever they're manifesting will be in a stagnant mode. And I feel like they're mad at you for achieving. I feel like before they can control you, they fight you. And I feel like since you break free um, from them, I feel here that they can stop, but, you know, I feel like they remember you all the time. And these people are envious and they are, they are evil. I feel like they are evil within. I, I'm not sure what it's called, natural evil. I, I don't know. Okay, these people could be want to be one. Could be they want you to be their servant. They don't want you to be like a queen or king. But then unfortunately, you know, um, karma will strike them. Like they won't be an emperor or empress anymore because they use their power to step on others, to manipulate people or try to drain others. Um, but I feel like you accept your gifts because the angels say you look within you you now know who you are and these people are just 
saying stuff to you that's not true. That's not who you are. You're someone who's an achiever, an emperor, an empress. And I feel like you're now traveling、um, in your life, like you're creating your own goals, your own dreams, your own desires for the future. And I feel like the heaven is alongside with you. Like you don't care whether or not these people are alongside with you. All you care about. Now is achieving your success. Feel like you had it all together. You're very abundant. I feel like you receive good karma, and these people that you dealt with will will have negativity in their fortune. The angels say, if they are using their power to manipulate others, they will have a downfall. They will not be rich anymore for some of them, and for some of them, they will struggle financially. So anyway, here is the overall theme. You go, you have round and round. So I feel like these people are trying to manipulate you, and they are not really a part of your soul tribe. And there's somebody who closed all opportunities for you, and because of them, you wasn't able to see. Who you truly are, and their words keeps on trying to manifest in your mind, like you thought it was you really that they say, but with all honesty, it's not. It's not really you. Okay, whatever they say, and I feel like since you start to awaken, I feel like you can attract people that are your soul tribe, and I feel like you finally open your heart. You finally know. Who you are, and I feel like some people don't like the change that happened in your life, because I feel like they love to disrupt you, to so that you may not see the right path for you. And I feel like you got awakened in time when you question who you really are, when you find yourself, your true colors, and I feel like some people help you.、I、feel like these are your. Um, true friends, and for some of you, you could be a spiritual teacher who have been through a lot, and then now you're teaching people how to be like you. That's what I'm sensing, and I feel like you attract a lot of love in your life or abundance because I feel like the heaven is giving you the rewards or those things that you deserve since you finally let go of that illusion. Of what you're not really, and think or in the tribe. I feel like some people can stop thinking about what happened to you. That's what I'm sensing. And sadly, some of them are from your family members. That's what I can see. And I feel like you really change because they bully you, and you work hard. To reach this Queen of Pentacles or King of Pentacles mode, and I feel like、um, the heaven is alongside with you, and you're comforting others too that struggle the same thing. And I also see that some people are really looking up at you now.、Um, that's what I can see. Like people respect you. People know that you have been through a lot. Number three. And this is really great. I feel like what's happening in your career, those people that are manipulating you from behind, I feel like they will receive their bad karma, and while you you continue on glowing, and they might attack you, but I feel like it will not work at all because you know yourself already. So these are your advice number three. So you got initiation, right? Of passage, crossing the threshold. So I feel like you're already here, and I feel like some people will still try not to to have you here. That's what I'm sensing. Next is keepers of the earth. You are not alone, and ancient ancestors stand beside you. So I feel like even the angels, the heaven is with you. So you're not alone in this journey. Don't dim your light for others that doesn't care about you. The angels say, "Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realm." So I feel like that only your ancestors, but also of course the Council of Light, really see you shine. Really. 
I feel like they are trying to manifest abundance in your life and you're heavenly protected by this council of light, which is really great. Transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So I have a feeling here that some of you need healing work to do since you have been in a struggle like people manipulate you and so forth. So I feel like while you're transforming, make sure that you heal, um, the angels say. And also forgive those people who hurt you, broke you because they don't know what they're doing. They're just Lokis and just pray for them. That's what I'm going to suggest. I feel like the heaven will reward you because you changed into a better person despite of everything that you have been going through. So you got a no, wait, postpone, pause, say no. So if evil people try to disrupt you, say no. Okay? Or if ever they try... Feel like remain cool. Don't let them bag you, number three. So don't deem to fit in. How are you deeming your light in order to fit in? So don't ever fall in the trap of these evil people here, okay? Um, because you're greater than you think and the heaven is alongside with you. Next, get grounded. Empath, highly sensitive, connects with nature. So... What I'm feeling here is that since people are trying to destroy you, could be within this week, if ever they gave negative vibe on you, make sure to ground yourself, number three, because you need that to release their negative energy. And then Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. So even if you walk alone, the angels say, don't have to worry because you're never alone in this journey. Like you really need to release those negativity in your life and focus on you, focus on what you're manifesting instead of, you know, those people that try to manipulate you. Don't let them drain your energy. Next, take a break, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. So if ever you overwork, number three, make sure that you take some time to heal, they say, if ever mean things happen to you or they say something nasty. And for some of you, don't overwork yourself. Make sure that somehow you have um, a nice sleep, the angels say. And then the next is Page of Kirbil, energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. So, what I feel here is that you're someone who's brave. Follow your passion. You're, you are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure. I don't know why I can't hardly speak. Probably, these negative people is trying their best not to make you speak. But I feel like don't let them drain you. Don't let them hold on tightly to you because um, I feel like you're accelerating. You're following your journey and the heaven is guiding you no matter what. Next is the Emperor. Archangel Uriel, stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. So, what I'm feeling here is that you're sitting on your throne. You're like, you're an emperor mode or empress. I feel like you're gonna be successful one day if you're not saying now, but you will. The angels say, just don't dim your light. Don't allow disruptions or these people to, to manipulate or dim your light. Next is Knight of Michael, strong, committed, intellectual, and diligent. Time to move quickly, choose um, logic over emotion, sudden changes. So I feel like you change in a drastic level and you became strong, intellectual, and committed to your work because of what you've been going through. And I feel like people are overwhelmed by you. By the changes that they see in you that's why i feel like some of them will try to attack you you try to disrupt your inner peace will try to destroy your name even so make sure that you're not falling into the trap of your ego number three or don't 
don't ever fall into their trap of the bullies who bully you. Bullies will always be bullies, they say. And let them be. If ever they attack you, block them. That's the best thing to do or ignore whatever they're doing. Just if ever they did this to you, don't dim your light. Just focus on your work and that's it. Um, is there anything else? They said you learn your lessons already. You know how to handle this, okay? Um, the angels say make sure that you're doing what you're being called on to do, the angels say. And follow the footsteps of the divine. The angels say some bullies will try to destroy your channel. And if ever you have a channel or... But I feel like you really need to have a break if ever that happened, number three. Have a break from work if that's the case. And don't be afraid to cut the ties from people that are not really healthy for you. So is there anything else? They said that's it. So thank you for watching those who chose number three and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hi guys, for those who chose number four, which is the Queen of Wands creativity, here is your reading. So let's see what's going on with your career number four. So anyway, here is the overall theme of this reading. So you got feel like you have a career change number three you want to focus on creativity instead of what you're usually doing the angels say loyal heart this is now in both ways they tell me and then you got deep knowing yin exchanging gifts truth be told never ending story Message in a bottle. Breathe. Young. Time for an up. Or fund. Mending. Here and now. Blessed. Between worlds. New life. Peace. And then flexible is in reverse. So I'm just following what the angels asked me to do on how to place the cards. Now we'll see with your Dixit cards what it has to say, number four. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with the career of number four. I feel, guys, that you have angelic guidance. You know the truth to yourself. What... um. What is the best thing to do during quarantine? I feel like you want to enhance your talent, but you're not really sure because you haven't done that before. And I feel like, feel like you're testing the waters. I feel like you try at first, but then hold back, try again, hold back. I feel like you don't know what to do. I feel like you want um, angelic guidance. You want to manifest the girl of your dreams as well or the guy of your dreams. You manifest a lot of things at the same time, the angels say. And they smiled. So we'll check with your tarot. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with the career of number four commencing june 1 up to june 7 2020 so i feel like for some of you your throat chakra is blocked because i feel the sudden heat on my throat um it's because the angels say like if ever you want a lover um a lover right now it's not a perfect time yet you have to be patient feel like you need to focus first in your career before love life and i feel like you really have a strong feelings for someone you want to be um feel like you want to approach this person but you're not sure how um this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading what is the outcome 
Feel like you feel like an outcast, like nobody likes you. Feel like you really have a low self-esteem number four. But we'll check what's behind the cards presented here. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. I feel like you know the true colors of the person that you're desiring of and I feel like for some of you, you're regretful about the past. Probably there's betrayal that happened and I feel like for some of you, since you cheated, you're not quite sure how to win back this person that you like. I don't know why I sense that your soul has been distorted in the past and I feel like right now you're changing a lot and you're growing a lot as a person as the angels say based on your past experiences. Now anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So I feel like you're releasing your past self. Okay, and I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, you're bringing back your old talent. You're not holding on anymore on... I feel like there's a career change that happened. I feel... I feel like it's because it's quarantine. Like, you don't want that physical job. You want something that you can work online. I feel like it's more an online business or online career that you want. But I feel like you're... You're still testing your ability about it, that's what I'm sensing. So first card is community. So I feel like due to the quarantine, I feel like um, you can't go out to work. So I feel like you're being emotional about it that you lose your job or the job that's physical or something that... I feel like your job includes traveling away from home. That's why you don't have any work right now. And then the next is Seven of Scrolls. So I feel like you're working on what you're passionate about or creativity. That's what I'm sensing. I feel like something that is a gift from heaven. The angels say something that you used to love to do. I feel like drawing could be because I see here. Probably drawing or something creative or if not, speech can be. Take what resonates. Archangel Michael, I feel like you're really in love with someone to your focus on career. At the same time, you think of a lover. I feel like it's a past fling. Could be your ex. You're still passionate about this person. You're still in love with them. You still felt drawn to that person and you really want to go back to them. I feel like you're overflowing with emotions towards this person. But then you're crying because you don't know if you guys can be together since I feel like you cheated or you made this person cry or things didn't work out in your connection but you still have feelings for this person and you see this person as the one for you. And then the next is a journey. So for some of you, I feel like think like you're you're working on achieving something else because i feel like there is a change of job with a six of wands whatever your job before is gone since the quarantine and the only thing that the cup left here is what you really like to do with it with the hermit what you used to love like drawing something creative crafting trying to manifest it you're trying to move on away from your past away from from your old job that's what i'm sensing you're trying to recover yourself because with the treasure in reverse so you lost your job and now you're on with a new venture and i feel like for for some of you, you could be light workers, like you want to try tarot reading or anything that are indoors. That's what I'm gonna say. You're trying to create money. Um, I feel like you pay respect on being in quarantine. I feel like you have a fear to go outside because you might get sick. That's why you try another, what do you call this? Another career. 
But the angels say, "Be patient with yourself, because I feel like with the fated meeting." Um, the angels say, "Focus on work first before love life, because on divine timing, you guys will meet again." Right now, you have to enhance the skills, the talent that the angel has sent to you, or the heaven have given to you to work on to so that's what you need to focus number four so we'll see with your charms what it has to say be patient with yourself during quarantine um feel like you will talk to someone else i feel so i have a feeling that you start to mature like you start to realize that you need to try to find work for yourself since you're struggling, since you can't do your old job. That's what I'm sensing. So I feel like you're following your intuition and you're trying to remember your... I feel like your old skill or talent, whatever it is. And I feel like... What makes you happy is could be the special lover that you have in your mind. <laughs> that can be, I feel like you remember that person, whoever that is. And you think that this person is destined to be in your life. You're highly in love with this person. I feel like right now your progress is slow because I feel like you're still learning your old talent or skill. And then I feel like for some of you, you really want your old partner or your ex. I feel like it's ex. You want to go back to that person. It's really what I see here. So let's see your Dixit card. So you got this one. So I feel like you really want to shower messages to your past person. But I feel like your past person will be overwhelmed by your messages or feel like they are receptive. I don't see that they're angry. They, they just overwhelmed by the messages that you sent. So I feel like you're finally embracing the skill or the talent that the divine has sent for you because I feel like you try to destroy it or you're not really using it, okay? Um, and for many years, I feel like you haven't. That's why you know you try your best to to do it because i feel like you hide it you you're not really um using your talent before and they haven't of course wonder what did you do to your talent and so forth and i feel like your talent requires a lot of studies that's what i'm sensing and I feel like for some of you, there's a downfall in your career because you can't do your old job um, because of the quarantine. And I feel like you think that there's a lot for you to learn or you're not yet successful in terms of career. And what I'm feeling as well is that you will feel very nostalgic and you miss your ex. I feel like... During these nostalgic feels, I feel like you will remember um, those bad things that you did in that partnership. That's what I can see. And I feel like um, that could be your pattern or ancestral pattern can be that you used to break hearts and you used to cheat or be a two-timer and then another reason why you're stuck and all you can do is daydream about your ex because i feel like you remember how you hurt her or him and i feel like you daydream about this person but i feel like you're not sure if your person will be receptive because i feel like your person might remember what you did in the past that's what i can see so anyway we'll check probably your ancestors don't like your talent that can be as well but don't dim your light for them the angels say if that's the case because you cannot accelerate if you don't do something and you're being called on to do something different because you need to explain that you can't do your old job because of the quarantine 
and just to be safe right so anyway here is your theme so you got flexible reverse so what i'm feeling here is that probably you let go of somebody because you thought that things are not working out but then you realize now that this person whom you left is really the one that you're in love with and i feel like you want to go back to this person that's what i'm sensing and i feel like with the blessed and breeze i feel like you start to see the true colors of nature and that this person of your past is something that is a blessing in disguise and i feel like you're embracing as well your talent or your skill that was presented to you by heaven and i feel like you received that calling by meditation or they sent you signs that you must accept the talent or skill that was given to you by god and that's why you feel at peace even quarantine because finally you realize now what you need to do so i feel like you try to to get along or to go with the flow of what your government wants with regards to quarantine staying at home and I feel like if ever your parents or those people around you is against your talent or skill, you have to tell them the truth that, you know, um, you can't do your old job because of the quarantine, okay? You have to be open. You have to tell them the truth. For some of you, you have to tell them that this is your calling. And then with a the new life in both ways. So I feel like for some of you, some people could be a disruption of your new life. That's why this goes in either way. And make sure that you're heading this way, not backwards, the angels say. I feel like you really need to tell that you need to change job because of the quarantine. See, COVID. Because I feel like with the COVID-19, it's not yet mended, okay? And it's very dangerous to go outside. And whomever you are dealing with, I feel like you really need to tell them that you have to deal with the quarantine, right? And you have to stay at home and not to go outside because you're really fearful that you might get sick. So I feel like... um just listen to your heart because i feel like the heaven is sending you signs of what you need to do that you need to let go and rest the angels say i feel like you receive sign from heaven while you're you're sleeping that you should do this and that follow it okay don't don't dim your light for others do your calling and loyal heart in both ways so i feel here that could be it's about your ex again i feel like there's 50 50 chance if you will have your ex back or not i feel like you will be the one who will message this person because you can't help but remember them and i feel like you're the one who let them go um but then when you let them go, I feel, I feel like they're very sad because I see a face here in the cards and I don't know if you can see. When you let them go, they're sad. So I feel like they haven't wants you to enhance your creativity or um, whatever talent that they send you. Um, the angels say you've been receiving signs. You will receive dreams. Could be within this week. But make sure that, you know, don't let everyone, you know, control you, manipulate you. Explain to them properly. Tell them the truth. That this is your calling. It is what you're destined to do. And enhance it. Okay? So God gave you a talent for a reason. So you have to use it number four. So anyway, here is your, for some of you, you're required to speak because to be honest, among all the piles, I can speak um, fluently here in your pile. So probably for some of you, you're required to speak or um, communicate in your career. So these are your advice. So you got enhance your talent, the angels say. 
Why are women have you answered your deepest calling? So what they want you to do is, of course, answer it because you received the calling already. Number four. And then the next is yes, just say yes. So I feel like you need to say yes to the divine, the angels say. I feel like they're waiting for a confirmation that you accept the calling. Okay, and priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? So this time around, don't dim your light because I feel like some people are holding you back from doing what they haven't wants you to do. So this time around, take the lead, the angels say. And if ever they still try to manipulate you, tell them that this is your calling. Tell them that this is what you want to do during quarantine because there's a way that you may have an other job right so i feel like with a break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future it could be ancestral patterns that you need to follow the guidance the guidelines of the family that you should have this career and so forth but you have to explain to them in this kind of situation due to the outbreak you can't even work outside and i feel like you need to tell them the truth really the angels say and i feel like because of the quarantine you will finally do your calling number four so you got leap you go first the universe will catch you so take that leap of faith to do your calling and i feel here that you really need to require to leave your old job and follow what you're passionate about follow your calling and use your old talent the angels say next is protection call back your power cut the cords soul retrieval so i feel like you need to cut the cords from people that are the disruption so if ever it's a family member that has been doing this to you i feel like you need to explain yourself but continue on you know fulfilling whatever your calling is at the same time and if ever they keep on questioning you just keep silent as long as you say it okay it's enough because in my case situation even until now my mom do question this job of mine okay she question what kind of job is this blah 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 and i will tell her it's my calling and you know um, what happened is that till now she asked but i never answer anymore because i already say what it is okay um but it feels like she doesn't believe at all probably she was very intrigued because to be honest she's very religious okay and since i have this you know um capability to talk to angels so forth of course some people that are very religious will be very jealous okay so i stopped talking i rather walk away right so with the crumbling what are you clinging on to so the angels say um um they are asking you why are you afraid to go after what you really want to do because i feel like for some of you it's really what you're passionate about it's really what you're destined to do in life and you don't have to cling on your old job on whatever people wants you to do because that's not you that's not your talent that's not your skill everyone is different everyone is unique and god created you in a unique way and it's never like other people's perceive you that you should be and be thankful about the quarantine because of the quarantine you can be able to do this okay next is imrama where are you being called on to journey to so the angels say follow your calling because it is what you're being guided to do the angels say and know that if you do your calling god is alongside with you the angels say and that is your true nature that is your true colors if you accept your calling you are on the right path and that is really a blessing because some people yes they have a job but it's not their 
their purpose or it's not their real path. So the next is great gathering. It's all coming together, intuitive hit, soul tribe. So if you follow your calling, that is when your soul tribe will come out. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. So I feel like you will meet your soul tribe if you do that. And then share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution, expression. So for some of you, you're being called on to express yourself. Could be through arts, could be through writing, music, speaking. So I feel like you have that voice within. Probably you're very shy that, you know, you don't have that talent anymore. Because I feel like you guys have it. In your, you know, in your pile, I can communicate clearly. Unlike other piles, which is my throat chakra is blocked. But in your case scenario, I can speak fluently, guys. So, there's no blockage there. It's only you, your thoughts, and people that are really negative that's blocking this, okay? This talent of yours. Because I feel like you're meant to shine. You're meant to be out there. You're not meant to be with these negative people or what they perceive you to be. Because it's not you. Okay? You're not li living in authenticity. If you will continue on trying to, you know, wear whatever that you want you to wear. Or whatsoever. Next, awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being integration. So I feel like you are awakening number four. So I feel like during your sleep or I feel like your intuition is waking you up or trying to make you felt drawn to the things that you should do. So here is the other advice for you. Five of Gabriel. A challenge you can resolve. You draw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So they ask you to be patient. They ask you to, to make it as a challenge to let go of people that creates drama. Learn to cut people off. Especially if they are toxic to you, the angels say. Ace of Raphael. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. So, what I'm sensing here is that what you're gonna have since you are accepting your talent, it will give you, of course, emotional fulfillment because you're following your passion, you're embracing the talent that God has given you. And I feel like that heaven is happy. Like even the angels are happy when you start to embrace your passion, when you start to embrace your dreams, when you start to finally accept the gifts of heaven for you. Next is the four of Gabriel, time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. So I feel like you're meant for greatness number four four again there's four here i feel like if you follow your passion that is when you will accelerate in life that is when you will grow fruitful and you will find the love of your life can be of course because if you follow your calling that is when your soul tribe will arrive right so i feel like you will find your divine partner if you will do your calling next is six of ariel Material needs get fulfilled in magical and expected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So if ever you became very successful, number four, remember to give. Remember to share your blessings because look at that. You have a lot of apples here. And of course, if you have a lot, it may rot right so the angels say remember to give once that you're abundant and remember to be thankful to the divine for this kind of you know talent that they have sent you and the angels say don't ever be selfish because the angels say 
um, though it's fruits of your labor, but still, God is the one who provides those things for you. So, remember that once that you have success, number four, remember to give, remember to be thankful, and be happy for what you achieve. And since you're happy in your life, it's now time for you to help others. And then the next is the star, Archangel Jophiel, a dream come true, believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. So if ever you follow um, your goals, your dreams, and whatever the angels say to you, your dreams will come true. And believe in yourself that you can nurture your talent. You can do well with whatever they say to you. And I feel like if ever you follow whatever God has said to you, that is when there will be an ending to the difficult situation of the struggles that you encounter. So be patient with yourself, the angels say. And the angels say, someday you will have this star. You will glow. You will shine. You will be famous for your works. I feel like you really need to nurture your talent. That's what I can see here. And it will bring you great joy and abundance in your life. Great fortune. The angels say, just release your ego. Release your fear. Because I feel like you're very afraid. Probably people around you are really draining you. And the angels say, it's the case of most light workers and some light workers really fail in their job because they are being manipulated by others so make sure that you're not um you're not one of those light workers whom are dimming their light and make sure that you learn your lessons because you know um did something happen when you follow whatever they say to you because to be honest, guys, okay, if ever I will continue on to hold on the negative things that others are saying to me, I won't be here. I won't be here guiding you. I won't have my channel. Because you know those people that try to dim me? They don't want me to speak. They don't want me to grow and even my mom say to me that I'm not even good enough and I experienced when I was a kid. My mom say that she can't believe that she have a kid like me. It's very hurtful to be honest with you that people may not see your worth but you know even though people are like that to you I tell you. It's God who loves you. It's the angels who loves you dearly. And those people that are your soul tribe. And you can find them once that you push forward with whatever, you know, the heaven tell you. So don't disrupt because of them. They're not your soul tribe. That's why they're pulling you down. Okay, so is there anything else? They said that's it. So anyway, thank you for watching those who chose number four. And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.